I was in there about five days after the cyclone hit. Yeah, so it was like a tremendous amount of rubbish and every second tree is down uh, completely. You know, every, every second roof of every second house is like lifted off. So the guy that picked me up from the airport, the first thing I said to him was, uh, you know, how's your family? And he says, oh, we're all fine. I said, is uh, everything okay? He said, yeah, everything's fine. I said, how did, you, how did you go through the cyclone? He said, well, just the roof of my house lifted off and all the rain came in, but apart from that, we're all fine. So. We can't even, I can't even travel down to the uh, disaster zone, so I'm filming this right here in my hotel room because it's the only safe place to do it. They're very touchy about anybody filming anything. But uh, I can assure you that there is a great need and that the church is alive and well here and is ready to uh, act and to help people uh, in need. The people are, are coping okay. They're shocked, uh, but they, they feel, I think there's a sense of relief, like we survived. So what, what was it was really good about going in after the cyclone was I was able to sit down and talk about disaster relief. You know, in the, particularly in the Irrawaddy Delta region, he's had pastors come in that he's interviewed. They've told him of the devastation, the need for medication, the need for water, the need for rice, the need for, the need for cooking utensils, uh, just the need for medication and just help and general shelter. And, uh, you know, we're, we're wanting to help. We're wanting to assist them in this need. They say 50 churches have been destroyed in the area. But we do have pastors, we do have representatives of the church in those areas of need that can distribute uh, the aid.